Uh, 148.9. Wow. So here we go. This is the lineup of the K1 Women 500. Christina Fazagazur, Olympian. Portella, Olympian. Voltakevich, you know quite a lot about. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin Ryan, up and coming. Rebecca Seaman, European champion. Spiller, uh, Ponomirka Jankic, many world medals. Mira Povka from the Ukraine. Annie Osterman, looking good so far. And Estivan. Uh, Todd uh, is stepping out of the shadow of uh, Bridget Hartley, who's concentrating on marathons this year, because obviously the marathon world championship is going to be in South Africa. Christina Fazagaz, uh, she's 36 years old now, and she's been really through it all, been paddling 26 years apparently. It's amazing. I mean, she's got two uh, gold medal, Olympic gold medals in the K4, so I mean, she'll be racing hard. I was talking to her earlier. She said she didn't quite have the speed for the 200, but hopefully she's got that fitness for the 500. Someone else who doesn't quite have the speed for the 200. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marta, it's great to see her doing the 500 this weekend. And here's Caitlin Ryan. She's uh, one of my training partners at the moment, so it would be fantastic to see how she goes. Rebby Simon, who is, uh, has been around quite a while now. Yeah, and, she, won, uh, she won her heat yesterday, which was fantastic, so we'd love to see how she goes today. So these are all familiar faces, very yeah, familiar faces. Yeah, and Speller as well, fantastic paddler, great 200 meter paddler, which is her favorite, but she's also amazing over this distance. This is, this is good for you, it's almost like <laughs> a, a, an analysis <laughs> section. You could uh, see who the competition is going to be. And we have Anya there, she, uh, we paddled with her on the Gold Coast earlier this year with Speller as well. So she's paddling well, she's got a fantastic start on her, so it'll be great to see how she goes today. I say Esty's stepping out, she's been on the scene like eight or nine years now, but she's, uh, she's been in the shadows of uh, Bridget, uh, but now has a chance to shine. So is, are you, are you, do you have some sort of adrenaline going, or are you just completely like me, just relaxed and watching it? Right now? Yeah. No, I think it's fantastic. I'm quite excited to see how these girls go today. And here they go off the start. We see uh, Teresa Portella always has a fast start, and there she goes. She's right out the front. Looks like Marta's catching it. Caitlin is uh, coming through there. She's starting to settle right down into her stroke there. Because she's actually she's now in your team, isn't she? Yeah, Kevin that's Gordon, right. Yeah. yeah. So she's settled in. She's got a, Caitlin's got a great, great uh, time between strokes efficiency. As you can see, Anya from Slovenia is right up there as well. You had breakfast with Caitlin this morning. With Caitlin, yes, I did. She was very excited, very excited. We wouldn't expect that she'd be racing the K1 500 final today. As well, she's doing rather well at the moment. Uh, coming at the halfway lead, she's, uh, she has a, a lean, a lead rather. Uh, Marta Voltakevich had some fourth time with injury off, so, so let's forgive her if, uh, if she doesn't step up. But so far, it's going to be Elisa Carrington. Can she sit down for the next 200 metres? <laughs> That's right. I mean, Caitlin is coming through strong. She's an incredible paddler, so it'll be great to see her performance today. As they're coming through the 200, it looks like Caitlin's still in the lead there. Great strength in every stroke. And does she have your does she have your turbo in the last 50 metres? Yeah, she's got some great fitness. So as long as she's been efficient in that first part of the race, she'll do well. Teresa Portello is keeping she's in touch, but so through. far it looks like uh, Kenneth Ryan is putting on a performance. That's right. She doesn't look like anyone will pass her. They're coming in right into the 100 now. Bella Janic is coming through. This is where it's going to hurt, but there's less than 100 <laughs> metres to go. The, uh, the New Zealanders next to us just outside are, are shouting them away, but uh, it looks like this is going to be the performance of her life. I coming know. into the last 50 metres, and Caitlin Ryan has benefited from training with Lisa Carrington, and she knows how to win now. Look at this, she wins by over a length. One well done. That's fantastic. Well done, Caitlin. That was awesome. And Speller coming in second there. You see Christina in third. A great race for those girls. Caitlin will be absolutely ecstatic with that result. Well done. Does that mean she becomes a pain in the in the training, or? Does <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's fantastic. Uh, she'll she'll take a lot of confidence from that racing. Um, next weekend we're also in the K2 500 and uh, the K4 500, so it'll be fantastic. What I did notice about your New Zealand team is you're always laughing, and you seem to have a, a <laughs> huge bond between you. Yeah, I mean, everyone's pretty happy uh, and uh, we're, everyone's really supportive. As, you, as we can see out there, there's a lot of Kiwis, a few Kiwis there just supporting Caitlin, so it's fantastic. She had a fantastic performance today. Excellent. Well, that's the K1 500 metres, and she really took it out, didn't she, from the, uh, from the 50 metre mark. She, she really stamped her authority, and uh, no one could stay with her. That's right. I mean, she's, a, she's incredibly strong, and uh, she, ha she had a great performance today.
Do we see the time? I didn't see the time. <laughs> Love to see it though. <laughs> well, the wind, the breeze is. is it, how would you describe it? Because you're quite an expert at that. Would you say? Yeah, it's uh, advantageous. I'd say there's a t slight tail, which is um, a little break on the water, and this course is always a little bit quicker, which is always nice. Good start. And the water temperature. I haven't actually had a swim, but uh, is it? Is it? Does it feels it help? A, a little bit fresh, but I guess the. Uh, the temperature in the air is pretty nice, so here's Caitlin, she's absolutely stoked. We'll give her a lot of confidence. 147.4, that's incredible, that's a fast, fast time. The world record is 147.01, I think. Well done, uh, Caitlin that's Ryan really is close. Uh, really upping the guns with uh, Lisa Common. Com I've said it twice now. He's a counter my <laughs> commentator. Uh, very impressive performance. Uh, Spela Ponomenka Janic is uh, second. And Christina Fazagazur, who she said she's, uh, she struggled after two, uh, two Olympic uh, goals to, to, to do the training again. But she's, uh, she's based in California, clearly. And, and she's now uh, putting in a solid performance because there's, there's a lot of... Senhoras e senhores, apresentamos as medalhadas do K1 500 metros feminino. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the medalists for the women's kayak single 500 meters event. As medalhas serão entregues por Augusto Baganha, presidente do Instituto Português do Desporto e Juventude, acompanhado por John Proter, team leader da Nova Zelândia. The medals will be presented by Augusto Baganha, president of the Portuguese Youth and Sports Institute accompanied by John Protter, team leader for New Zealand. E a medalhada de bronze é... The bronze medalist representing Hungary, Christina Fajikalzur. De prata é... The silver medalist representing Slovenia, Spela Janic. Medalhada de ouro e vencedora da Taça do Mundo. The gold medalist and World Cup winner representing New Zealand is Caitlin Ryan. Por favor, levantem-se para escutar o hino nacional da Nova Zelândia. Please rise for the national anthem of New Zealand.
Give a warm round of applause to the 2017 World Cup medalists. Woo -hoo -hoo.